Hey, this is Jeanette with Anderson Alchemy, and I'm coming to you today with your tarot reading for the month of August 2017, and this is for the sign of Virgo. So if you have a Virgo rising sign, a Virgo sun sign, or a Virgo moon, this reading is for you. If you don't know your signs, then go to cafeastrology.com. Make sure you have your time of birth and you can do a free natal chart there, okay? Um, once you have that information, then uh, it'll be easy to figure out which videos you should be watching. I highly recommend watching all three. All right, so let's get started. Now your overall energy for the month is actually the Six of Pentacles. So this is a great card because this is really speaking to uh, you really looking at how to balance how much you give and how much you receive. Um, you know, have you been over giving for the past couple months and doing too much for the people or scattering yourself uh, too thin? This is that time where you're going to have to pull back and really make sure you reserve your energy and kind of replenish your well um, and allow yourself to come back into balance. This also, since it is pentacles, is referring to uh, your money as well. So if things have kind of been shaky, this should be a month where you should see more stabilization happening, okay? So being better at saving, being better at generating money because both are important. So that's good. All right, so in the, um, the house related to your sense of self, which is the first house, your identity, um, how you're showing up in the world, you actually have the Queen of Swords. And I love this energy for Virgo because with Virgo, you guys tend to have a, uh, you have this tendency of really getting stuck in your mind and like spiraling down because that earth energy just like kind of pulls down. So I like the sword energy because it does still relate to your ruler, which is Mercury. Um, it gives you a little bit more of the lightness of being. And with the Queen of Swords, you know, she is someone who has been to battle and has come back um, and she's still open, but she does have boundaries. So it's a great position of power. Um, you're really clear about who you are. You know what you want. You know what you are doing. You know your the path to success. You are clear. So that is a great energy to have for this month. In the position of your fourth house, which is a house related to your sense of security, you know, your home life, your emotional state, you actually have the Hierophant card. So the Hierophant is the high priest, and this is the energy of, um, you know, institutions and structures that um, kind of make things official. You know, it can be the marriage card. Um, it's also the card of, um, you know, spiritual law, like taking things that are kind of airy-fairy and really bringing them down to earth and learning how to use that technology. So, you know, this may be a marriage happening in the home, whether for you or for someone else on a very literal kind of on-the-nose on the nose interpretation. It also can mean there's some deep healing work that's happening as well because this is an emotional center and this does have to do with um, you know, past life issues or subconscious issues more directly, like kind of inner child stuff. So this is a powerful energy to have here, but it is really stabilizing and grounding. Um, and because it is a five, it does mean that there is some change happening, but it is a, a change of strength and, um, and power. So that is good and amazing for you. Uh, in your seventh house, which is the house that has to do with your relationships with other people, um, you know, your peers, your other family members, um, lovers, co-workers, what have you, you have the Empress energy. And this is a great energy because she is essentially Venus, the, the energy of Venus. Um, she's also mastery over um, the feminine mastery over all the elements. So she's also a generative property in your life so that means that the relationships that you have with people they're actually really fruitful and there's a lot of opportunity there there's a lot of stability there whatever you have built now um it's a beautiful it seems actually like it's a a return on investment for work that you've put in up to this point like you're you're getting a chance to enjoy the fruits of your labor in terms of relationships like you really have good true strong uh relationships here this is also beautiful too if um if you are looking for a romantic partner um since this is that venus energy 
it is a beautiful way to um, kind of magnetize that to you. So um, if you've been thinking about putting yourself out there to start dating, now might be a good month because you are you do have that blessing of that Venus energy here, which is nice. Uh, and also, um, I believe Venus is in Cancer. Yeah, Venus is in Cancer for most of August, so she is going to be feeling extra yummy <laughs> right now. Um, in your 10th house, um, at the top of your chart, you have the Devil card. Now, your 10th house has to do with career and purpose, um, also your reputation. And the Devil card has many meanings. Um, one of it actually has to do with contracts. So it's an uh, interesting um, reflection to the Hierophant energy in your fourth house, right? Because um, the, the Hierophant is about institutions and structures. The devil energy is also about those things that um, we know we shouldn't do, but we do. It's like those little bad habits. Um, but this is also um, Capricorn energy, which is material wealth. And the 10th house is the Capricorn house. So you have, um, you know, this energy in its home. So for me, this is saying that you are really showing up really powerful in the world and you have a lot more control than probably what you realize. But with that comes a caution because the devil basically asks us, what are we doing with the power that we have? Are we creating with that power responsibly or irresponsibly? Okay, so remember, karma exists in the positive and negative. It's always going to give you a return off of what you do. So, you know, use that power and leverage it for good, and you will see an amplification of that good. Use it for bad, and you're going to see an amplification of the bad. But regardless, you are sitting pretty in a place of power. Um, and I will say as well too, you have three major arcana cards in these these houses. So. Um, you're really sitting pretty this month. In the center of the reading, which speaks to, you know, your soul's heart and uh, purpose, you actually have the Queen of Pentacles, which is another um, really beautiful complementary energy to the Empress. But this really speaks to a deep desire uh, for your soul this month to build and create and manifest things in a real tangible way, particularly as it relates to your physical security. So this could be um, taking steps to build wealth for yourself. Um, it could be steps to, you know, kind of save better. This could be a drive to, um, you know, get healthier or take your fitness regimen to another level. But there's a definitely a maturing energy and a another energy of return on investment of work that you've been putting on and being able to take things to a next level. But it is a soft energy. It's not hard. I mean, you have an entire row of essentially this powerful divine feminine energy you have queen of swords queen of pentacles and the empress so that's amazing that tells me that you are in a powerful place this month and not only that because there's so much it seems like earth and generative energy that money's going to be good you're going to be probably looking at starting a new business or business may feel like it's stabilizing at this point like maybe things have been shaky up to this point and now you're kind of like i'm good now i'm starting to see some some profits so that's exciting so good on you virgo it, it seems like this um this month is going to be strong for you powerful and and actually quite balanced um which is amazing and i'm i'm also really happy to see so much earth energy show up for an earth sign right <laughs> All right, so um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, either for tarot or astrology or even do some energy healing work, feel free to check out my services on my website, which is innersunalchemy.com. It's below. Um, and also feel free to reach out if you need help figuring out what um, service is going to be best for you in your particular circumstance. And if you haven't already, be sure to look at the August um, astrology astrological forecast that I did. Um, it's already posted. Um, I put the link below. Check it out because August is a powerful month with the eclipses and the retrograde and all that uh, with Mercury, which, you know, it does affect your sign. So be sure to check that out and use that information in addition to what has come through from spirit in the, the tarot guidance to help you have the best life 
ever this month, okay? Uh, so I will see you next month. Lots of love and blessings to you. I wish you the best, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.